Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Farming Simulator 22, our first look at multiplayer and a wonderful little setup me and my friend Harry did on the channel for a little bit of a winter storm. Farming Sim 22, as you see in the background, has seasons in it by default. And so in the vanilla version of the game, there'll be snowstorms and different type of weather, and of course, seasons that will affect your crops and, of course, can be even plowed, too. So we're going to jump into some multiplayer here today, see some of the equipment in order to, uh, well, of course, push around snow. And we'll be doing some more of that in live streams and much more. So make sure you're subscribed. Enjoy our first look at multiplayer as we do a little wood chipping, a little uh, salvaging of some vehicles, and we'll get into some more farming soon. There's much to do in this game, including building your own farm. You can do that in multiplayer or single player. Yes, you can put down the buildings yourself and modify all the terrain. There's lots of ways in order to, of course, uh, make different types of storage areas for vehicles and for different types of equipment and, of course, your livestock. So we got a lot to do. Make sure you subscribe and check out our video, too, by the way, on how to get unlimited money in the game for yourself if you'd like to purchase some vehicles in a separate safe so that way you can tinker around with things. Well, let's jump in to some multiplayer, our first look at Farming Simulator 22. Great to have you all here. I'm excited. Let's go. Harry, you spawned on top of me. Oh, look, look there's boots with the fur. Oh, wait, can we pick this stuff up? Oh, look at that. We can pick up the boots. That's nice. Come. All right, where'd you go? I'm behind you. Oh, there you are. Come, come through here. Do we make paths in the snow? When we... Oh, dude, you push bushes out of the way. Check that out. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You don't just, like, phase through them anymore. Well... I like, built this all from scratch. Farming Sim 19 is looking a lot different, isn't it? Oh, that's because it's Farming Sim 22, Harry. Yes. And you're looking good. Nice, nicely done. Is that a one-to-one -one, uh, scale ratio of you? It sure is. Check that out. A three-in-one trailer. The Horman Group? Oh, oh we must be in... Farm. Are we in Ger uh, Germany? Oh, we got to join a farm. <gasps> my farm. Can I join my farm? Yes. Oh, I want to join my farm. I'm going to join my farm. So we can't even go inside without joining the farm? Oh, cool. Whoa. The shed of goodies. Yeah, no kidding. It's Christmas coming early. Oh, here's the sleigh, I guess. The Santa's red sleigh loaded <laughs> up with skid steers and plows. Oh. Dude, this is going to be a big event. We're going to have to, dude, we're going to have to do this for a live stream. There's a lot of work to be done. Uh-oh. Snow's clipping through the top of the roof. Literally unplayable. Zero out of ten. Zero. 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 Mac trucks looking great though. Damn, that's more. Wow, these are on par with like ATS for the most part. Yes. I mean, sir. ATS is a little nicer, but this is way better than any other previous farm sim. Look at this big dumper here. Oh yeah, that's, that's a high tip bucket. Oh nice. Okay. Oh yeah, and it's on a front loader too, so that's cool. Oh, it's an attachment as well. Very nice. Hello. Ooh. Okay, that's cool. Very nice. And the windshield wipers work and all the, yep. uh, all all the indicators. Yep. The in oh, you can see the engine fan firing up. Fantastic. All right, so what are we doing here today? Are we plowing? That's going to be a big job, I think. We're going to have to come back and do some plowing. This is a preview of what's to come, right? Yes, sir. All yep. right. But, ooh, and we got sand. Oh, salt bags. in the. Oh, yep. road salt. Yep. Damn. All Can right. Fill up the spreaders in the back. Oh, we can do a manual fill up with it? Yep. Oh. Bring it over and then just like dump in the back of the hopper so what would be the easiest way to get something over here can we, can we actually like attach things to the bottom of the skid steer buckets or anything uh what do you mean by that well it would be kind of cool to like if, if we offloaded like if we pick these up with the skid steer right you yeah. know what i mean like how'd you get them in the back of the truck you used a bucket uh, right i used a uh like a this tele handler here okay I, I put the forks through it Oh, that's what you did. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking of like, yeah, doing the same, but like attaching a rope and then bringing it to the bottom. Yeah. I've also noticed there's voice chat in the bottom right. Are we? Are there you is. hearing me? Oh, I have it turned off. Double? Okay. Well, it might be a good idea to do that, but cool that there's VOIP. Very nice. What a snowy day. I love it, man. Yes. Now, what map is this? What? Where are we? This Tell me more. This is Elm, Elmgrad? It's, it's, it's that something Elm. <laughs> Elmcrest? Elm, it might be something, yes. Okay. You can kind of see where the map... I like how the you can tell where the map ends, but it's still kind of... They took some work to actually like make yeah. a fake part of the map where you can't um, go. It sort of does make me wonder if they'll have like updates in the future. If they'll oh, expand. Oh, expanded. So, Very nice. Yeah, I'm not sure. So for snow plowing and stuff, uh, there's only certain parking lots that are yes, filled yeah. with snow, right? So we can't just yeah. do every road and... 
no, it's uh, not. In other words, the city does the road, the county or the state, and then we do like the, basically like the local, I don't know, yeah. gas station or, yeah. okay. What do we have planned, Harry? What are we doing? Uh, so there has been a recent big storm. A big old storm? A snowstorm? A snowstorm has knocked off quite a few trees, to be fair. Oh, really? Yes, quite a big blizzard. People couldn't see or crashing all over the place. Oh, we gotta go do another good old-fashioned cleanup. Oh, this is like yeah. a... Oh, dude, this is like a Kmart over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Grocery and a laundromat? Oh, yeah. That... that This is very accurate to the Midwest. This is where I live, so a lot of the things look pretty accurate. Is there an accident down there? At the gas uh, station? Yes. Oh, ho, ho. well, we better get cracking. What are we gonna yeah. do? Earlier on, there was uh, the blizzard was happening, and you couldn't see. You couldn't even see like five meters in front of you. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, luckily the uh, city came and plowed most of the roads. I guess. Well, one of those yeah. flash blizzards that doesn't leave a lot of snow, but <laughs> there's accidents and trees <laughs> down for today's video purposes. Can we open these big old rolling doors? We I sure bet we can. can. Oh yeah. So what are we bringing for cleanup? I think if we like, if we move some cars out of the way first, and then get us, we can um. Take this, 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 this uh, oh. load down. And we'll take the flatbed on the Mac here if we just load them up. I and see then, what um, you got planned. Yeah. Do we have. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got <laughs> We're going to need that on. for the trees. But... Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, and you actually hold the uh, chainsaw like away from you for safety. Yeah. Although, in your hand, it's uh, pointed at me, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's non threatening, I guess. Oh, I'll miss those days. All right, so then we can get the cars out of the way with the uh, front yep. loaders and the snow too, and then load it up onto here. Very nice. Yep. And then for like the trees and stuff, we have skid steers and wood chippers here. And oh, look at the uh, the flashlight's really nice for being able to see anything. Wow, it's like 9 a.m. and it's pretty bright out, but it's yep. still pretty pretty dark too. Okay, very nice. We're in the super liner. Yes. There's our map. Okay, so what are our controls here? Start engine. Oh, okay, so we don't start with auto. On. No, I turned it off. Oh, okay, so it's still toggle. Toggle yeah. option, right? Okay. Oh, that's working. Hey, I noticed there's a shifter. Do we actually have to shift some gears here? Um, I think it's an automatic unless you change it in your settings. Okay. How do I blow the horn? Is it still... Yeah. 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 Very nice. Okay. Oh, oh and the wipers the are Oh, yeah. Flashy lights. Uh, let's see. Well, I pressed the home button. Is it a different button? Uh, it is the home button. You might not have them. Uh, mine, oh, you yeah. you want money might be F. There you go. Well, F for the lights, but uh, hazards and such. I think actually, how do you do indicators too? Oh, perfect. That's yeah, what we're looking for. Notepad, yeah. Well, if we may as well turn this on because we're in a snowstorm, right? Yeah. And the roads are closed. And let's take a look at the inside of the cab. Ooh, it takes a second to load, but oh, you can even hear the windshields. Uh, wipers bumping around from inside the cab. Oh, That's yeah. really impressive. See the mirrors as well. Now, before we go, I do, I want to see one of the uh, I want to see one of the other tractors too before we leave, just to just to compare the truck. I'm sure every one of these interiors is just amazing. Let's do a uh, is there a John Deere? There we go. Yeah. Let's do one of those. So inside the John Deere. Yeah. So it only takes like a second to load your first interior. So there's a little lag on your first load in. They'll buff that out probably after release, but. Uh, Oh, that looks great, man. Good good detail. Very good. Yeah, very nice detail. That's on yeah. par with some of the more uh, detailed mo mods that I've seen. Oh, we have uh, with controls and stuff. Oh, nice. It's good that they've added a lot of things in here in vanilla. That means that we can improve upon things in mods in the future. So, like, this is a good starting point for everything that could come uh, to Farming Sim in the future. That's yeah. going to be awesome. All right, Harry, I'm going to pull out of the uh, shop here, and then you... Let me know where we're going. I guess you'll lead the way with the telehandler. We'll go slow. Yep. We're not going very far anyway. So how do I turn on and off windshield wipers? I don't think you can. Oh, really? Yeah, I think they're, they're automatic. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's because interesting. It's, because it's snowing. It's, yeah. I got you. Oh, can you get out? I sure can. Oh, I love, love the sounds. Take a quick look at the shop, too, of some of the other stuff to buy. All sorts of different trailers, front loaders, wheel loaders, grape technology. Grapes and olives, Harry. Yes, sir. That Harvesters. Yeah, no kidding. We're going to have to do everything. We're going to do everything. So make sure you're subscribed and smash that like button, too, to let us know you want to see more and more and more. To cover every piece of new technology, every truck, every trailer. Lots to do. 
Okay. I wish I was... I'm using a mouse and keyboard now, but I must say the controls f just for mouse and keyboard are... They just feel better. Although I would recommend uh, probably a controller for driving, but maybe a mouse and keyboard for everything else that's not in a truck or a tractor. All right, so up here at the gas stations, the trouble. Yep, there's a truck and uh, another, like a, <laughs> another truck as well. <laughs> this trailer is way longer than I was expecting. I'm taking these corners way too tight, but definitely feels good. This is actually more re realistic than what I'm expecting. That's great. Oh, you... Oh. The gas station's got some trouble. What if I can just get underneath this thing? Alright, I'll try to park over near the uh, curb here. Wow, those are some big trees down. Here you go. Wow, yeah, look at that. Oh, there's still people walking around. Man, that's not <laughs> safe out there. Jeez, look at this. Oh, man, they've got the beautiful... Uh, Sleeper cab for the Mac. Oh, man. I love that. It's a Mac Anthem, too, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Dude, I love it. Oh, and there's a truck that went into the uh, electrical box, and there's lots of trees. Down. The whole main street is just destroyed. Wow. Yeah, I know, ma'am. Cr crazy, isn't it? I know. Crazy that you're in a tank top and, like, uh, jammies, basically. Okay. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Whatever you say. Okay, so we have to get rid of the um, we have to get rid of the trees. We have to get rid of the snow if there's any, which I guess that's all cleared, luckily. And can we strap this down since we placed it under the truck? I'm not sure. There is a strap option. Updated. Oh, it's an '86 pickup, nice, and they still got the Lizard brand going strong. All right, so how do we fasten belts? Are oh, it looked like it actually tied the truck down. Oh, it makes a noise as well. I oh, it does. I noticed that. It look okay. Let me jump in the truck and see if I can move. Oh, I see you strapped down in the bed of the pickup. Let's see if. Yeah. I can't move. That's awesome. Oh really? Yep. Oh nice. So it definitely tied it down. That's, um, uh, that's unless I'm. <laughs> that's amazing. Unless I'm stuck. No, it's four wheel drive. So we. Yeah, oh no, yep. Just, Perf oh, that's perfect, dude. That's, that's, that's awesome. No more vehicles. <laughs> flying off for no reason. Good job, dude. All right, strap it down again. So I guess there it would be nice if there was a little animation to show you that it was tied down, but uh, yeah. I guess you can just know by the clicking noise that more of your stuff. So this means we might be able to tie down buckets, we'll be able to tie down um, whole vehicles, or maybe other uh, another truck. You could bring a Mac home with a Mac if you wanted to on your flatbed. Do you want to jump in that other truck if I can like, push it off that red? Uh, you want me to jump in... Oh, in this yeah. truck here? Yeah. Oh boy, that's interesting. Quality, competence, yeah, we'll see about that. You plowed right into the gas station, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is the, uh, oh, the man truck. Okay, I thought it was the Tetra version. Well, this is fine. All right, well, let's see if we can unwedge. Oh, look at those wheels, though. Nice. All right, that's saved. Go. The front end's probably caved in, but at least the yep. vehicle's salvageable. All right. That looks great. Let's drive through the gas station. Look at that zoom out, man. Very nice. Oh, much better to drive. Let's try those we uh, lights again. Oh, there we go. This one's got the beacons. Nice. Yep. Looking good. All right. I will drive this back over to the farmhouse just to get it out of the road. Okay. And we'll take a little tour of the farmhouse, too. How do we get our controls out of the way in the upper left corner? Is that F1 Press still? F1, yeah. Yep, okay. Perfect. Oh, and there's some of the uh, silos and the big old red barn. I love how close the farmhouse is to the road. It's kind of nice that there's not a long drive to the main road. And there's like a random person walking around the farm. <laughs> Ma'am? There's all these people out walking. All right, I'll leave the truck on so it's warm. It's pretty cool with that barn as well. There's quite a few like hidden secrets in it as well. Yeah, mini doors to open, lights yeah. to turn on, things like that. All right, let's continue to uh, chop up this tree. So, oh, we don't have access to the land. Ah, but we don't need it right here. Uh-oh. Mm. I think we'll have to buy the territory. Is this uh, land that we... Oh, wait, we... is it because it's on the road, oh, maybe? Oh, that's... oh, they must have changed it. Let's see here. Where are we exactly? We're at field 4546. Do we own all the farm fields? 
Yes. Oh, we. Oh, because it's on the road. We can't do it. Oh. Well, Harry, just push it over to the side with your skid steer, and we'll cut it up over there. We'll get it out of the way of the road first, and then we'll cut it up. Our. Uh... And, and good luck getting this. Uh... Oh boy, that is a mess with this Mac. Woo. Amen, brother. Brother, amen. Good job, man. Oh yeah, just yeah, just push it over to the side of the road. That yeah, should work. Mangled. Wait, can we go into third person while we're walking around? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy, did you uh, lose your truck? This guy here is gonna need a, t a tow. Something like that. Uh, actually, um, maybe I can unfail the. Uh, ramps on the back of the trailer. Oh, that looks great, dude. Look at how cool that is. Oh, your lights and everything look amazing. Very cool, dude. The lighting and stuff is very impressive in the game. Very good stuff. Alright, so what's your plan for getting rid of these giant branches? Um, we, if I go grab the chipper... Yeah? We just go shove it straight at the chipper. Okay. I mean, probably just leave it on the ground on our land. I guess yeah. it's our trees, so it's kind of part of the reason why we're here. Oh, that chainsaw works smooth. That's nice, dude. Very nice. And then I'm assuming we can just chop these off. Oh, yeah. Some of these are a little longer, but that's the way to get rid of most of these smaller branches like this. That one should be able to be bopped off. There it goes. Yep. Oh, that is nice, man. I am very impressed. Okay. Now, wait a minute. The real question is, in all the previous times... That we have played Farming Simulator. Yes. The chipping has always been the weakest with the conveyor belt and everything else, and the, the chippers ah, yeah, that is true. usually yeah. are not as reliable as you'd like them to be without mods and such. But again, we're playing vanilla because, you know, obviously it's coming out soon. And we're taking that juicy first look. Hmm. Or at least continue. I mean, there's so much to see, dude. We're going to have to take a first look at every trailer, every truck, all the. how silage is different from oh, before. Yeah. Uh, how it, how different the production chains are, how many vehicles there are. We got to goof off in Wawa like our uh, our our typical uh, wood chip bridges that we built in the past, and our conveyor belts that go across the map, and putting every vehicle in the game on the railroad tracks, and seeing if you can stop the train in Farming Simulator 22. We got lots to do, Harry. Oh, lots to do. Plenty oh, you already got the it. chipper here. Oh, look at this, bro. Okay, here's one. Can you reach over to this one here? This one might be pretty big, but... Can you, oh, I don't know if you can reach that far. I can jump in the, uh... Where'd you put the, uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, here, let's try... Well, let's try a puny one. See if you can get the little toothpicks. That's always the trouble for the, uh, conveyor belt. Ooh, it looks nice. You got your outriggers out there? Or oh, are you using your new, um... Did oh, you I buy the... No, oh, no, you're not, okay. No, currently, no. You bought the new little, uh, well, not new, but the joystick and whatnot that's custom made for, yeah. for for the game, yeah. Oh, there's so many brands and things to go over. You and I have been following the news of this game for months, but there's yes. still, I mean, the, the amount of information in terms of what brands are in, what vehicles are in, um, you know, the differences to uh, seasons now. Obviously, this is not a mod. This is vanilla. This is all vanilla game, base game. Whether you're on console or whether you're on PC, this is what to expect. Oh man, you're gonna get it. Now I wonder if I can load the uh, chipper too with this little... I bet I could just drop this on here. I wonder if we could also strap things to the forks, that'd be cool. Oh, the forks are gonna be real tough to... there we go. I don't even want to try messing with this thing. Here, try this one. If I if I present it to you, that one we can probably. You know what we could do is chip that, um, cut that one up and do it by hand. Oops. But if you grab this one, right there, I'll push it over just a little bit more. There you go. Try that with the claw, and I'll see if we can do one by hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's doing it. It's doing it. 
Oh, you can't even see if it's shooting in there because it's got a little hopper over the top of it. Yeah. A little uh, cover. Interesting. Oh, but this... Wait a minute, Harry. This thing tilts to the side? Yes, it's like a, like an org light, pretty much. Oh. Like it tips over. It's like a side dump, pretty much. Nice. Oh, and everything looks so cool. Obviously, we're not doing anything to spec and code. We're just trying to show off everything we can in the shortest amount of time, but... Man, is that looking cool. All right, I'll keep on cutting some more trees. We've got a big mess to clean up, but if we're going to do this, we're going to need everyone to help us when the game comes out. So for those of you who are members, if you haven't yet already, click or tap that join button to become a member right now and unlock multiplayer as we try to host some servers and come up with some big old setups and projects and different things to do. Aside from just the regular farming, there's plenty of other things that you can create, your own scenarios and your own situations and stuff to... Uh, recreate with friends and try to use all the equipment that you normally wouldn't get a chance to use all the time. Okay, so I can confirm the conveyor belt's still a pain, but some say. things never change. Alright, let's see what you can do. Oh, this looks so cool. And all the details. Oh, some of this is in German, too. So some equipment... In English, some of it in German. Some of it is German equipment. Some of it is British or American or French or Dutch. Yeah, this is a lot harder than it looks, by the way. So if uh, if he actually gets this, which it looks like he's about to do, it's way harder than it looks. I'm telling you. We played a ton of 14, 13, 14, 15... There she goes. Oh, yeah. It's going to have to be... Uh, you're going to have to shake it around a little bit. Or or let go. Are you pushing it? Oh, yeah. I think you're pushing it in a little bit. Well, to be fair, that's also a pretty big old piece to throw into the old chipper. But the thing is, is how else are you going to get rid of it, you know? I guess that's better for branches and the trunks. Yep. We should probably use a stump grinder on. Although I don't know if, if you do that, if it'll work. All right. Excellent work. Good teamwork there, my man. Very nice indeed. All right, what else do we have down the road? We got more trees to push out of the way. I got a truck here that I'm going to try to load up onto the trailer. What else is down there? Let's see. Just a few more trucks and stuff, I think. Yeah, it looks like we've got... Oh, what looks to be a fire department here. Wow, good way to... Uh, <laughs> good place to have an accident. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. All right, so we got some trucks that definitely need to be uh, put onto the trailers. We got, oh, an overturned vehicle. All these trucks really look nice, though. Yeah. Very cool stuff. Yeah, this is this place is absolutely wrecked. So we're going to have to do a lot more um, clearing and cutting. Now, that's interesting that we can't cut trees on the road, which might be something that hopefully would be updated, because imagine if you're hauling some logs and yeah, one of them does fall them, yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. And you're trying to get the road clear, but then you're not allowed to cut them out of the way. Like, if you're playing legitimately, and a log comes loose, and you need to get it out of the way, that could be a definite mess. This looks more like a, a hurricane that blew through here, and not, not a winter storm. But, you know, anything's possible. Crazy. Uh, in any of these shops we can go into? Looks like most, most businesses are closed. Close, close for the blizzard. Yeah, close for the blizzard, right. Okay, well, let's try to get a uh, truck onto the trailer. We'll go back to that one guy who's standing out in front of the store, and we'll go see if we can clean that up. And um, I could definitely see this being a prolonged project we'll have to do when we're also live streaming as uh, multiple trucks. We'll have to take multiple trips. It looks like we can fit about maybe two pickup trucks on the flatbed, and it's going to take some uh, finesse to try to get these trees all uh, taken care of, especially with some of these thicker trunks. I guess what we could do here is probably bring over a pickup truck, cut the stumps or the uh, trunks of the tree into smaller pieces and haul those off to dump yep. them. Yeah. And then the branches we could just chip up because there's going to be a lot of those that would be easier just to chip. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get this truck running here. I'll jimmy the lock a little bit. Oh, look at all these trucker hat emotes coming around. What y'all doing? <laughs> We're playing farming sim. That's pretty cool, yeah. brother. Amen. Big old truck, big old trailer. Yeah. You know what would be really cool is if in the winter, the tr I hope there's a, a mod for vehicles to get really dirty and filthy because in the winter, it is impossible to keep a vehicle yeah. clean for too long until you start ending up with, uh, you know, uh, well, you got salt and sand and whatnot all underneath the car. And then, of course, you got all the, uh, all the um, 
windshields that are just going to become absolutely caked. Ooh, and the turning radius on this is nice. Very nice. All right, Harry. Yeah, there you go. That's yep. what I wanted to see. Very nice. So that, I like the rollout speed on that. Is that just a one? You hit a button and that's yeah, it? Just hit a button it's done. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I love the sound of the trucks. I wonder if we can move this truck up. Oh, you want to push that one layer. forward? Is there a little ramp to get up to the front? Uh, that's full bike. That's full, <laughs> full wheel drive. Oh, these trucks are like the same color and stuff too. Oh, that's as far as you can go. Up. Well, you can at least do two at a time. What I would say is that, like for example, how you first loaded it with the forks is genius. Yeah. Because this it's is essentially that, yeah. supposed to be a wrecker, and you know, just just trying to get wrecks out of here any way possible with whatever equipment is locally available. So, yep, you've strapped everything down. Very nice. It'd be kind of cool if there was an indication from the straps yeah, that it was connected to stopped, something. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Or cargo secured or whatnot, but that's cool. I mean, that means we can... That means you can put a skid steer on here with, like, a bunch of uh, different attachments and maybe yeah. some, like, I don't know, pig feed or whatever. What other things you wanted to bring along, so... Okay, where are we bringing this stuff? Oh, can you ride in the cab, by the way? Um... I don't think so, sadly. Oh. Oh. I mean, you would have thought of that, wouldn't you? After oh. all this time, you still have to ride solo, which I guess gives a purpose for the vehicles, but it's also a little annoying if you're working a job with a friend. Like, if yeah. if you're working the skid steer, and I'm working the chipper, and we're driving a truck, everyone could drive back together, you know? Yeah. All right, well, I'll pull a U-turn here in the uh, in the gas station and bring things back around to the the shop. So that area, that, that barn that we were in, the green building, that's attached to the farm then, right? That's kind of yes. part of the same equipment. That's okay. A, yeah, it's sort of like a place pool, yeah. Are the mirrors adjustable at all? That's one of the things that's going to be trouble for me. Stuff as well. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. What's the hotkey for the ramp? Uh, X. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can see it there. Nice. Uh, would it also be cool to uh, to press C to get multiple views of a vehicle, too? Yeah. Like multiple like, views like, of the trailer like, and yeah, whatnot. Yeah, like Euro truck and stuff. I knew I was getting into a mess trying to come through here, too, with this trailer. I just knew it. By the way, I've noticed, though... Wait a minute. There's pathways um, around the pumps. Is this... Was this plowed out? Is this something we can plow? Uh, it was already like that when I found it. Oh, okay. Because it kind of looks like the different areas here... Wait a minute. Let me just check. I don't know if this is set dressing, but it looks like it could also be plowable snow. Which, yeah, I guess, this is the snow, area that, yeah, to clear. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm all goofed up again, but this trailer is going to be a lot more work than I thought. I yeah, like this trailer a lot, though. Nice, isn't it? There's a even bigger version of it as well. What? Yep. A bigger version? <laughs> yep. Okay, well, now we get to see all the snow coming in. I don't see any snow accumulation either, so I wonder if weather will play a part in that. Oh, this is, this is a nightmare. There we go. Okay. Well, it goes to show that the trailers definitely have some realistic handling, and this is not something you're going to bring through the city very easily. So stay out. <laughs> stay out of those tight turns. All right, well, I managed to do it. I see a bridge here. Is the railroad go underneath here? There's a little... Oh, it's a little, little creek there. Dawson's Creek, maybe? No? Okay. Well, let's bring this over to the grocery store. Since this area is a little bigger, and I'd like to take a closer look at the parking lots here. Oh, I'm, I'm noticing what what really seems to be. Uh, well, I don't see any effects on the tires, but yeah, this seems to actually they require a a plowing. Oh really? Oh, look at look at the detailing here. By the way, they actually have somebody leaving their cart out. That is the most realistic simulator I've ever seen. There's always <laughs> that one jerk to do that. Oh, always. Although this is kind of weird in the Midwest. Um, one, the parking lot would be way bigger than this. Two, I don't think the parking lot would be extended into a second area where then there would be more carts, but uh, sure. <laughs> this is the Europeans' rendition of what they think uh, oh, yeah, it does need to be plowed. Yeah, the U.S. looks like. Yeah, it looks like the, uh, the roadway actually uh, could require some plowing here, too. I mean, it looks like it, but it kind of yeah. looks like when you... What we used to do, one of our evil tricks for Farming Simulator 19, was that we would take fertilizer, which was white, Dump it all over the ground and then just pretend that it was snow and then push it around with a uh, with a plow or something. Piston bully or whatever mod we would come up with in order to do that. We can use that for plowing as well. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh, love the propane tanks. Lots of nice little details here. Very, very good stuff to make it convincing. Nice. This is good. This is good set dressing. Usually they, um, and they usually have these for purchase here too. Too bad we can't go in the store, but that that'd be cool. Yeah, oh that'd yes, be cool. they have heaters and ice cream. Oh, Times are warmer. Honestly, yeah. Okay, this is actually the the best looking store I've I've seen in the game. Honestly, what do you think, Harry? Definitely, definitely up there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. It it it. This logo looks familiar. It's basically Kmart's old logo, except they made it a a Y Mart. <laughs> if you guys remember Kmart, you see, kids, there used to be something other than Walmart and Target. Anyway. Uh, I've also noticed a gate here, too, but it's kind of weird. I don't know what this gate is for, but... Alright, whatever. We're just trying to goof around a little bit and just see as much as we can in the short amount of time that we have. But anyway, what else do we have, Harry? What else can we showcase in the time that we have? Uh, there's quite a few. There's a new, new tracks we haven't seen before in there. Oh, okay. Let's take a closer look at some of those tractors. Good road signs, t uh, signs too, but this looks good. The lighting looks good. The skybox yeah. looks good. The... Constant uh, flutter of snow looks good. And then, of course, this winter season provides a lot of time to do logging and uh, tidying up and cleaning up your vehicles and maintenance and whatnot. The sort of JCB has never been in the game either. It's oh, nice. New... Alright, so we have a new... was, wasn't in last game, it was in 17. Oh. That looks familiar. And also the uh, tractor on the wood chipper is new. We have, we have that on um, the farm IRL as well. Oh, and your real-life farm, that's yeah. one of them that you have? Okay. Yeah. And then, now I'm questioning, too, for a lot of these vehicles that are jammed up, is this just from the save, or is it just, you're uh, just, just, trying to, save, yeah. just trying to cram? Okay. Some things do get moved around a little bit for the saves, but we do have air hoses here in the back of these trucks, and that's impressive. We have uh, different types of hoses and such that can connect, and I think even the, the trailers, like, if you connect to a truck, doesn't it, if you connect something to a pickup, doesn't it put, like, the yeah, electrics like the and little, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Even the cool is this is you can like you can see like the um, the prop shafts spin around when you start driving. Right. Yes. Yeah. You can see the uh, the shafts move around and like I said before, w when you uh, fired up the uh, front loader, yeah. you can actually see some of those in engine parts move yeah. moving as well. And the lighting is really good on the vehicles, uh, which is very nice. If we fire this one up and we throw on like the indicators and stuff, it it I don't know. It doesn't look video gamey. It looks real. The the way in which it's pulsing, the light around it. I mean, if you're concerned about graphics, then this is, I mean, already way, way well above. Yeah. The only thing that'll have to be worked on is the uh, inside of buildings like <laughs> like this with the <laughs> snow. I mean, I guess they probably programmed it so rain doesn't come straight down, but I don't think they planned for snow to come sideways through a building, which is hilarious. But then uh, a ton of placeables too, Harry. Yeah, so very loads of them. Yeah. If we Big wanted variation. to make like a, yeah. No, that you're right. There's lots of variation. You you want to tell me more? What have you seen? Um, so there's really big silos and stuff. Some of them you have to use like an auger to fill up, rather than dumping straight into a pit. Is the initial one require an auger? Um, uh, let me get to that menu. There's some yeah. of them that do, and some of you don't. There's some okay. bigger ones, but they hold. They help. They hold more. Rick was telling me. This is really nice, actually, because if we wanted to make, like, a trucking company, we could actually... Now, we're going to do videos on, like, building a custom farm. Everything that you've seen before on the channel, we're going to do everything from the uh, large-scale harvest to building custom farms. I mean, you name it, we've done it, and we'll do it again. But I do like the fact, Harry, that we can... Um, as you mentioned, there's placeables, and they can pretty much go anywhere. Yeah. And so if we wanted to put, like, a fuel tank out in front of this little pole barn, uh, there's petrol tanks, large, medium, and small... And fertilizer and stuff too, so depending on what you want to store and where, you can make them customized for, make a small shed, store maybe one or two tractors in there for fertilization, and you're good to go. Not to mention there's production buildings too, like the bakery, that we can put anywhere. Yeah. So, in terms of making our own setups, we can also create our own scenarios where if we wanted to just do a wheat farm, and we wanted to set up a bakery and a few small vehicles and just simulate an old school bakery, when the time comes for mods and stuff, we can definitely do that. Or do like a large chicken farm or something, because there's tons of, uh, well, there's tons of cow barns, but there's also stuff for chickens, too. Yeah. So you got your big old coops. Bees, too, which, of course, now are, are linked in with the crops and whatnot. Yes, and get you more yield and stuff. There's a lot more different ways and stuff by, like, rolling your crops, stone picking. You can sell the stones as well. Oh, really? Yeah, once you pick them up off the field. So we can pick up stones now. 
Oh my god. Gary? Yes? We need to test something very important. I just spawned something out in front of the uh, garage. Why is there a tennis ball? You know why. There's a dog in there. There was. Where'd he go? He walked off. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh. Can you pet the dog? <gasps> you can pet the dog! Oh, oh achievement okay. unlocked! Oh my goodness, dude. Your first farming sim achievement. Oh, you can pet the dog. Yeah. yeah. Are you a subscribe boy? Yeah? Are you a good subscriber? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Become a member. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's rolling in it. He's rolling in his membership. Oh, they do that, Harry. They do that. They oh, do that. That's the how they know. You. That's how you know they love you. Oh, man. Oh, switch hand tools. So we, I think we can play with them, too. There was a ball. Oh, you can left yeah, click I've to... Got the ball. Can you throw it? Oh, oh, he likes that. Is he going for it? He's going for it, dude! Get it. He's going for it! Oh <laughs> my god, wow. Oh, uh, dude, there's so much to do, we will not be able... Like, all of our episodes are going to just, like, overlap because we're going to get distracted. I mean, who the hell couldn't be excited about at least some extras in Farming Sim that are not necessary? You're here to see, like, uh, John Deere's loading up harvest... You know, big old, uh, you know, tipper trailer or something like that. A grain... Uh, carriage or something like that being loaded up and uh, brought to a semi, you know, uh, and uh, basically d dumping it off at a bakery. Meanwhile, we're goofing around with dogs. Jeez, that's awesome. Well, let's take one quick look at a few more things that there are to do in the game. Uh, forestry equipment, big O trucks. We've seen a few things. We have medium and, and small tractors, trucks and skid steers, not to mention forklifts too, which would be a good way to um, also move stuff around the, uh, the warehouse. Yes. Which, uh, in the case of purchasing things, if uh, we wanted to go, Harry, to... Let's say we needed to buy fertilizer. How would we do that? Um, if you go to... Oh, objects. Yes. Four buy tab. Up. Ooh. You can buy big bags, like when we had the back of the trucks. Yeah. You can buy, like, the pallets. So the pallets and the big bags you can move around with the forklift, right? Yes. And then you can load those up onto a smaller flatbed. and Or maybe just use the... Oh, that's what makes the trucks useful, too. The uh, early scale stuff. There's definitely a ton of it. I'm, I'm just excited, man. I, I think you're excited, too. Yeah, you're, you're very excited, <laughs> I can tell. Very nice. All right, well, we have much to do, much to see. We have videos on how to make a custom character, how to get all the money you see in the upper right corner. I'm sure some of you want to start with all the money, just so you can buy everything and goof around and see how it works and see what's in there, which is totally your right. So keep in mind that if you want the money, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, watch the, uh, the videos and whatnot for how to. If you want to see uh, more antics and more first looks and more about weather and mods, we just we simply are out of time for today. So thank you, Harry, for all the setups. And we'll see you guys for more Farming Simulator 22 coming soon. Yes. Thanks, bro. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. We'll see you soon.